From time, from time to time, you see pictures inside the control room, and I think you should know that this is a videotape made earlier of scenes inside the control room because obviously they're not going to uh, endanger the success of a mission by allowing television equipment inside a control room at a critical time like this. So they do allow us to make pictures earlier so that when the launch is actually made, we will have uh, pictures to show you of what it is like inside. And uh, it is, of course, an exact simulation of a successful flight because all the scientists and technicians and engineers and the other astronauts go through the same routine, the same pacing that they would go through under an actual flight. That's why you can see, for example, Commander Shepard sitting at his uh, position uh, in, in voice contact with the uh, astronaut inside the capsule. And in fact, when the TV films were made, he was in voice contact with the man inside. doubt in anyone's mind, uh, I suspect that was a fellow by the name of Mercury astronaut L. Gordon Cooper who just chugged by in an F-106. How high, how far, how fast? I need to figure some. I am asking one of our engineers to now provide me with information which will tell me how high, how far, and how fast Mercury astronaut Gus Grissom flew. downrange indicating that the aircraft carrier Randolph is steaming toward the spacecraft. Get those figures. for those figures from Colonel John Powers on how far, how fi how high, and how fast Gus Grissom went, we can tell you what he was programmed to do. Uh, he was supposed to go 116 miles high, although our visual illustration from time to time has showed... I think we're getting a report now. Traveled 5,310 miles an hour. He reached a maximum altitude of 118 statute miles. His flight path carried him six nautical miles farther than was planned, and he landed 305 statute miles downrange from the launch site. I'll review those numbers again. The Mercury spacecraft traveled a maximum velocity of 5,310 miles an hour. It reached a maximum altitude of 118 miles. It traveled 305 miles downrange before landing in the Atlantic. And we are still standing by here in Mercury Control for final information on the time when Mercury astronaut Grissom was lifted out of his spacecraft and the time, if possible, when he was put down on the deck of the Randolph. The figures given by Colonel John Powers would indicate that Grissom uh, went higher, went faster, and went farther by well, a fraction of a percent than was actually uh, planned 
And now we uh, go to uh, Charles Batchelder on the USS Randolph in the recovery area. Captain and pilot, 
Muncie, Illinois, and Georgia Scott. First lieutenant from Houston, Florida. They have to hear number 30 has the astronaut. They're opening the doors now. There's Leslie Wilson. He's stepping out. He doesn't look very wet. He has his suit there. Helmet off. The doctors are immediately cleaning him. They're going to put a load stone over his head and a test. Hanging out here with the 